In this video, I wanted to briefly cover the current situation surrounding the new M1 MacBooks and Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO. I've had a number of people ask me specifically about this game, and I did briefly cover it in one of my previous videos, but I thought I'd make this one just to make it a little bit more obvious to those who are new to my channel for the first time. So what we'll do first of all is we'll just get straight into the video as per usual. We're going to open up Steam and we're going to try to launch CSGO. Now, typically before this latest version of MacBook was released, CSGO would work with absolutely no issues. It's relatively light on resources, so even the most underpowered of machines can generally run it and at decent frame rates. So what we'll do first is we'll go into the library and we're going to try to launch it. Just quickly before we launch, uh, one thing to note about Steam is it's very, very laggy. You can see here as I'm scrolling, uh, it's taking a really long time to scroll and sort of refresh. And that's just because this particular version of Steam has not yet been optimized for the new ARM platform. This is still mainly supported on the x86, the old Intel platform. So that's why. So if we open up Counter-Strike Global Offensive, we'll click play. And we'll let it do its thing for a few seconds. You can see there pretty much straight away that there's not much happening. So I've actually tried this five or six times. I've uninstalled, I've restarted the computer. It does not work. Interestingly, you can see up here, it says CSGO underscore OSX 64. So that's telling me that clearly this is only for the X64 platform Max and not the new ARM M1 Max. Which makes sense. I mean, these Macs only literally came out like two days ago and there's no reason why CSGO is going to just immediately spend hundreds of developer hours updating their game just for a few people that want to test it out on the MacBook. So what can you do? Well, there's really nothing much you can do. You're gonna to have to play on a different machine or wait a couple of weeks, hopefully, or potentially up to a couple of months and see if CSGO releases an updated version. But apart from that, all you're gonna get is this black screen. So that's it for this video. Just a real short and sweet one. Any questions or any requests, leave them in the comment section below. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching.